Hello friends, in this video we will take you through in detail about cell group in home menu. We will apply insert, delete, hide, unhide, many more options. Before we start just for your information, other tutorial of home menu link has been shared in below description so you may have a look. However, let's begin. It's very important to remember rows will be added above of the selection and column will be added to the left of the selection. To add multiple rows or column, select multiple rows or column and then click insert. Let's add a row. Select entire row and simply click on insert button. Rows will be added above of the selection. And to add a column, select entire column and click on insert button. Column will be added left of the selection. Also, if you would like to delete a row, simply select this particular row and delete. And same way, if you would like to delete a column, simply select that specific column and click on delete icon. From format option, we can do many more things such as row height adjust. Column width. Hide and unhide rows, column, sheet. Also, we can rename worksheet as well. We can move or copy sheet. Also, we can apply tab color as well. Let's adjust the row height. Simply select the desired rows and click on format and row height. Since uh, row height. Row height is 18. Let's add something else. Such as 28 and click OK. You can see the row height has been increased. In the same way, if you would like to increase the column width, select your select specific select specific column, select on format and column width. Whatever you want. According to your requirement, you can increase or decrease your column width by adding value over here and click OK. Also, if you would like to auto feed the column width according to your content, click on Format, click Auto Feed. In the same way, if you would like to auto feed the rows as well, select your specific rows and click Format and Auto Feed Row Height. It will be adjusted according to your content. Also, if you would like to hide specific rows or column, select that specific rows or column, select on format, click on format and hide or unhide, select hide column. The selected column will be hidden. If you would like to hide your rows, Select and select your rows and click format, hide and unhide, hide rows. The specific selected rows will be hidden. However, if you would like to unhide once again, select in between the hidden column, click on hide and unhide, click unhide. In the same way, select in between two rows, click on format hide and unhide click unhide rows all the hidden rows will be unhide there is an easy way to do hide and unhide simply select desire rows and hide in the same way if you would like to hide your columns select specific column and right click to do hide now let's rename the worksheet worksheet is sheet 1 we can rename it simply by clicking format and rename sheet we can rename here as cell summary 
instead of sheet 1. There is easy option to do that renaming just sheet name just double click on sheet name and it will allow you to rename the sheet. Once you done click enter. Also you can apply tab color as well from format tab color. Apply your desired color. There is easy option to apply tab color as well. Just right click on sheet name, click on tab color and apply your desired color. Also if you would like to move or copy the specific worksheet, click on format, move or copy sheet and select which sheet you want to copy or move. If you tick create a copy, it will be copy or if you would like to move, see the selected sheet has been copied. Also if you would like to move that specific worksheet to a, another workbook, select format, move copy. Sheet has been copied to another new workbook. This is all for this video. Thank you for tuning in and wish you all the very best to become an Excel expert. If you found this video helped you to learn something, you may like, share and subscribe to stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you soon in the next video.